The stair climber gets the high-tech treatment with Stepper Plus's trainer-led classes and entertainment app integration. Welcome to TreadmillReviews.com. I'm Kaylee, and today I'm reviewing the Stepper Plus. This stair climber is really cool, and I couldn't wait to check out all the features it currently offers. The Stepper brand has a great plan to continue to update this machine with even more features, so keep that in mind as we go through this review. It may have even more options available now. As it is right now, the Stepper Plus has an exciting training platform and a great build. With any new brand like Stepper, we expect that there will be a few areas that could be improved. I'll get into those areas in a bit, but this is a very solid entry into the home fitness market. Two exciting features are the compact size of the Stepper Plus and the free content. The Stepper Plus may seem like a pricey machine at first, but you really have to factor in what you'll save by not tacking on a monthly subscription. I don't know about you, but it certainly increases the Stepper Plus's value for me. Are you trying to stock your home gym or are you ready to upgrade your old treadmill? Here at TreadmillReviews.com, we test the latest and greatest in home fitness equipment so you can find all the information you need right in one place. Like and subscribe if you want to simplify your buying process. There are three steps on the Stepper Plus. They aren't as high as you might find on a commercial stair climber because Stepper uses a stadium style step. They're about five inches tall, 15.7 inches wide, and 8.6 inches deep. I can't quite get my foot completely onto one step. I wear a women's size eight, and my heel or toe hangs off the edge. This didn't bother me, and it probably won't bother you either. When the stepper is moving quickly, you will want to stay on your toes anyway. The height of the step is a lot easier to manage than other stair climbers, which makes this machine very beginner friendly. It also makes it more compact, but we'll get into that in a bit. There are 25 resistance levels. The slowest levels are beginner friendly and the pace is quite slow. The fastest level doesn't quite reach a running pace. For instance, a runner typically takes 160 steps per minute or more. And the Stepper Plus maxes out at about 130 steps per minute. The movement of the steps is quite loud. If you need a quiet cardio machine, the Stepper Plus is not the right option, but I don't mind the noise. It helps you keep the right rhythm because there are only three steps and that bottom step starts falling out from under you as this top step flattens out. You have to be pretty precise with your stepping rhythm. There's a kind of thump or clunk that you can hear and feel if you stick around on that bottom step too long. That bit of feedback is really helpful for staying on pace. Onto the actual construction of the Stepper Plus. The company focused on making this machine compact enough to fit in the average home. It can fit through a standard doorway. A six foot user can use this machine in a room with an eight foot ceiling. Or another way to put it, your ceilings need to be at least two feet taller than you are to accommodate your training on the Stepper Plus. Its dimensions are 50 inches long by 29 inches wide. Most treadmills take up more room than that. Then it's 82 inches tall, so the machine itself is under seven feet tall. The Stepper Plus is pretty top heavy, which makes moving it around pretty tricky. It weighs 286 pounds. And while there are transport handles to help you move it if you need to, the Stepper Plus is best kept in a single location. It's not easy to roll around despite the wheels on the back of the machine. The transport handles are removable, so you can use them as needed and keep the space between the bottom step and the floor clear. The frame is very solid. I feel very secure while training on the Stepper Plus. There are handlebars at the top and there are also long rails along the sides. They're metal with a black powder coating to reduce corrosion. The bottom step sits about 15 inches off the floor while the middle step is around 21 inches from the floor. These rails are really helpful for getting onto those steps without triggering the safety sensor at the bottom of the steps. However, the Stepper Plus isn't the best option for users with restricted mobility and balance concerns. From an appearance standpoint, I really like the Stepper Plus. 
The molded casing around the base of the machine is plastic, but it looks elevated with that reflective branding along the sides. Everything that needs to be steel is steel on this machine, and the plastic cosmetic parts don't look cheap at all. Again, I just want to mention as we go into the features of the Stepper Plus that these features will be evolving as time goes on. Stepper has some cool updates planned for the machine, including more content, Bluetooth connectivity, and automatic speed adjustments. It's not here yet, so let's get into what features I was able to test. Looking at the console, your eye is going to go straight to that beautiful giant touchscreen display. It's 27 inches, which definitely gives the Stepper Plus a premium feel. I felt really close to the screen while I was training, but I also hovered over the top two steps most of the time. If you use the bottom step more than the top step, or you're a little taller than me, this screen is great. The image quality is really nice, and there's a ton of content for us to get into in the next section. The screen pivots to each side so you can train off of the Stepper Plus and still see the videos perfectly. That's one area that the size really comes in handy. The only improvement it needs is the screen sensitivity. It was hard for me to swipe through the content when my hands got sweaty from training. I kept selecting content when I meant to swipe through it. I managed it okay, but there were consistently little hiccups along the way. So if you sweat a lot, it's just something to be aware of. Onto the buttons. The handlebars have buttons for starting, pausing, and stopping the machine on the left. On the right, there are speed up and down buttons. Then, along the side of the screen, you'll find volume up and down controls. They're pretty large with raised plus and minus symbols, so it doesn't take long to become accustomed to using them without looking. There's also a USB-C charging port and an auxiliary port beneath the volume buttons. I'm really hopeful for the Bluetooth audio update because I really wanted to use my Bluetooth headphones instead of a wired option. As for charging, while it looks like the Stepper originally intended to have a wireless charging pad, this feature did not make it into the final product. However, the phone rack is really close to that charging port and I have no problems using it. The Stepper Plus has four speakers, two front facing and two in the back of the console. The volume level and clarity are just fine. I had no trouble hearing the coach over the sound of the moving steps. For storage, there's the phone rack that I mentioned. There's also a large cup holder and two narrow compartments to either side of it. You could fit your phone or maybe a small protein bar into the smaller compartments. And last, and most importantly, the safety features. The Stepper Plus has quite a few of these. Most noticeably, there are two red safety buttons, one at the top of the machine under the phone rack and one along the right upright. These buttons can be easily pressed in the case of an emergency or need for a sudden stop. After pressing either of these buttons, they must be twisted to unlock them, and then you have to touch one of the stepper's other buttons to get the steps going again. But that's not all of the safety features. The Stepper Plus can sense when someone has left the steps entirely and will shut off. But the coolest safety feature is the infrared sensor at the bottom of the Stepper Plus, which will bring the steps to a stop when it's tripped. This is handy should you slip from the bottom step or should an object move unexpectedly toward the bottom of the machine. It can take some practice to avoid setting this feature off as you're using the other training functions of the Stepper Plus. However, it gave me more peace of mind about the safety of this machine and I would rather accidentally set it off a couple of times as I'm learning than just not have it. Stepper has done a great job in making sure you have all the features you need to get stepping. At the time of filming, the Stepper Plus does not require a subscription to access its trainer-led and scenic content. Let me repeat that. The Stepper Plus does not require a subscription. Now, the content quality isn't quite up to par with paid fitness platforms, treadmills, and other equipment provide, but the quality is good. The trainers guide you through HIIT workouts and steady-state climbs. There are more advanced moves like skipping the middle step, stepping sideways, and more. It can take time to get these movements down, but they make the classes more interesting. There are training classes for off of the Stepper Plus. These classes are mat classes for mobility and strength training. Some of the strength training classes incorporate the anchor points along the frame. You can attach resistance bands to these anchor points to perform so many different movements. Stepper is planning to release hybrid classes that combine training on the Stepper Plus and movement off of the machine. The scenic classes 
need the most work out of any of the content categories. The classes aren't structured very well to feel like a whole workout or a scenic experience. I appreciate the option of the scenic category and hope that future classes can become more refined. In addition to training classes, there are also a few entertainment options on the Stepper Plus. Currently, there's Netflix, YouTube, Spotify. Stepper plans to add other streaming services in the future. You can use these entertainment options with the training classes and adjust their individual volumes. All right, so now I'm gonna walk on the Stepper Plus so you can hear what it sounds like a bit and then also see how it performs. Right now, I'm just moving at speed level three. I can show you how slow speed level one is though, so we'll drop it all the way down. And this is going to be quite manageable for a, a beginner user. If you're new to exercising again, you can do it. I feel nice and secure with these handlebars and having these rails along the sides too. So I'll kick it up a bit now. So that's about in the middle, so to a level 13. There is quite a bit of noise, but as I said, the rhythm actually helps keep you on pace so you don't feel like you're gonna fall off. I know just when to step. It might take you a couple of times of working out so that you feel like you don't have to look down the whole time. I think it took me about three workouts before I felt more confident actually looking at the screen and not right down at my feet. All right, so I'll take it up to the fastest level, so level 25. Not gonna be able to talk much because it's gonna go quite fast. So I dropped it back down, so as you can see, you can kind of just keep stepping like normal if you're able to step that fast, or you can switch to more of a hopping gait. Either one works. The stepper is definitely very challenging. There are so many things to cover with this high-tech stair climber. With such extensive and free content, it's really impressed me. The design is compact and extremely functional with the stadium steps, a giant display, and multiple anchor points for resistance bands. The 25 speed levels are great for beginners up to advanced users. It's not quite to a running speed, but it's pretty close. Finally, there are the safety features that demonstrate how attentive Stepper is to user needs. There are two safety stop buttons, an infrared sensor, and a user sensor. It makes me feel a lot more at ease having these features on a machine with so many moving parts. All in all, Stepper has done a great job on their first product, and we're anxiously awaiting future updates. Thanks so much for watching my review of the Stepper Plus Stair Climber. This was an awesome product to use and review. If you have more questions, be sure to check out my full written review. It will be linked in the description along with a link to the Stepper Plus if you want to check out its current pricing. Leave us a comment with what fitness products you want to see us review in the future. I'm Kaylee from TreadmillReviews.com and thanks again for watching.